my government supports any corporate socially responsible initiative that will see long-term and sustained benefits for all Guyanese. The Greater Guyan Initiative is therefore a welcome venture that can result in the transformation of knowledge, skills, and experience to Guyanese, thereby ensuring our overall development as we navigate the new frontier ahead of us. My government's agenda for the next five years is no secret. Our aggressive transformation infrastructure plans progressive economic and youth development programs and commitment to the education and health of our citizens have begun in earnest. My government remains committed to ensuring that we enact and execute an agenda that will help us mitigate the harsh effects of both the natural resource curse and the Dutch disease. But no government can do it alone. We rely on the partnership we foster with investors and stakeholders to find ways and means of ensuring that service to all is indeed for all. The relationship between a government and any investor cannot be measured only by taxation and royalties. Shared values and mutual interests are equally important. Since assuming office, I've had several discussions with top executives of both ExxonMobil and Hess, where I reiterated my desire to see the consortium take a more active role in meaningful local content strategies. I've encouraged them to make investments that guarantee the development of key non-oil areas and advancement of Guyanese. The 20 billion Guyana dollars non-cost recoverable initiative is a sizable investment in the future of all Guyanese. It is a forward step in the evolving cooperation between my government and the Starbuck Block co-ventures ExxonMobil, Hess, and CNOC. The initiative has targeted the areas of education and training economic development and health. As a government, we have in the last six months invested heavily in many of these areas and plan to do so in the upcoming budget. My government is committed to investing in world-class health and education infrastructure that will see those services being a major foreign currency revenue earner for Guyana. Programs such as the Greater Guyana Initiative that uplift the Guyanese workforce supports cross-sector competitiveness of local businesses and energizes the business environment for sustained economic growth. The establishment of this initiative should not be viewed as conclusive of our expectations that the Starbuck Bloc co-venturers will act responsibly in the conduct of their business within our shores. On behalf of my government, I congratulate the consortium of ExxonMobil, S and Sina for the launch of this Great Again initiative and I reiterate my government's commitment of cooperation for mutual respect and gains for all guidance. I thank you. Joining us virtually are representatives of the other Starbuck Law co-ventures, Hess and Sinox, starting with the Vice President of Hess Corporation, Tim Chisholm, and followed by Sinox Vice President of International Development, Keith Henderson. At Hess, we believe that successful oil and gas development cannot occur unless industry partners with the communities where we are active. We obviously do this through our business activities, but also across a range of capacity building programs, such as education and training, healthcare, and workforce and supplier development. Our commitment to Guyana extends well beyond the oil and gas sector, and we're excited to see the support and enthusiasm for new opportunities in the faces of the Guyanese people. I am personally energized by the multi-million dollar support for vocational training that is part of the Greater Guyana Initiative. I can think of nothing more important to economic prosperity than to build the critical skills that are in demand by industry. At Hess, we have the highest hopes for the long-term sustainable growth of Guyana, and we believe that the creation of the Greater Guyana Initiative is an important step in fulfilling that aspiration. That's why, wherever Hess works in the world, we invest in the people, communities, and capabilities that economies need to grow and prosper. Hess has a long history of embracing the important responsibility of corporate citizenship and sustainable development. That is why Hess is proud to be part of the Greater Guyana Initiative being announced today, with a hundred million US dollar investment to support capacity building in Guyana. On behalf of the China National Offshore Oil Company, CNOC, it is my pleasure to extend greetings to the government and people of Guyana and in particular to all partners, stakeholders and beneficiaries of the Greater Guyana Initiative. 
CNOC's participation in this initiative is a demonstration of our company's long-term commitment and strong partnership with Guyana in keeping with our resolve to assist in the development of the country based upon its own needs and priorities. CNOC is excited to be a partner with Guyana on this journey as we launch this long-term sustainable initiative that is intended to be a benefit to all communities across Guyana. As a partner in the Stavrook Bloc and the third largest investor in Guyana, we are determined to deliver benefits to Guyana by investing in local communities. Our participation in the Greater Guyana Initiative is a key step in laying the foundation for successful programs and projects that benefit both the youth of Guyana and the broader community across Guyana by participating in high quality programs. As a global Chinese oil and gas company with operations in over 20 countries, CNOC brings to Guyana and to the Staybrook Block joint venture its own brand of expertise in the entire energy value chain. Helping expand the technical and socio-economic capacity of Guyanese is key to enhancing our success in Guyana. Our participation in this initiative is fully aligned with our company's corporate social responsibility framework, which includes educational enhancement, developing safe and thriving communities and supporting indigenous communities. One of the Greater Guyana Initiative's key focus areas is collaborating with the University of Guyana to help prepare the youth for future success. We have successfully launched three initiatives focused on campus safety, telecommunications equipment enhancement, and hosting visiting professors as experts in their respective fields. CNOC is committed to leverage its strengths and capability on this journey together with Guyana towards a prosperous and successful future. In the coming years, CNOC intends to further expand its local staff in Guyana and to develop local technical capacity training, business education and technology. As we move forward, Guyanese can expect increased scholarships, technical secondments, industrial training and community development. This launch of the Greater Guyana Initiative coincides with the beginning of Chinese New Year and I wish everyone Happy New Year. This is the year of the ox. The ox symbolizes prosperity through fortitude and hard work. The Chinese pronunciation of ox sounds like the English word new, and we at CNOC believe this initiative is a new beginning of a win-win joint venture that will further build a strong relationship with Guyana. In the initial stages, we were working with key organizations such as the Technical Vocational Education Training TVET Council, the University of Guyana, and the Center for Local Business Development. I now invite representatives from these organizations. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be here. Since the establishment of the Center for Local Business Development in July 2017, Guyanese companies have benefited immensely from trainings and information on procurement activities. To date, over 2,700 Guyanese companies have registered on our supplier registration portal. The center has been very active over the years, offering a suite of offshore oil and gas seminars to inform businesses of what to expect from the virgin industry. The center has also played a significant role in business development through rigorous programs such as conducting gap analysis, business courses, as well as our ISO and HSSC mentorship programs that benefit Guyanese businesses in any sector. In the last year, three companies have attained internationally recognized ISO certification and we anticipate three more in 2021. The center has supported trade missions, including hosting trade missions in 2018 and 2019, which saw the arrival of 39 Canadian companies engaging with over 100 Guyanese businesses to seek partnering opportunities. Further, through the lens of local supplier development, the center in collaboration with ExxonMobil and its partners Hess and CNOC hosted the Lisa Phase 1 Supplier Forum to provide an opportunity for Guyanese companies to meet with prime contractors. Numerous smart alliances and partnerships have been made to leverage transition of knowledge and build the capacity of Guyanese businesses and workforce. In fear I might forget to recognize a company, I am not going to name successes. But if you want to speak with the center staff, we are happy to share examples and learnings. 
I will share, however, sectors instead. These include fabrication, safety, staffing, medical, and information technology. This initiative will ensure that the expansion of existing support to businesses across all sectors in Guyana. Our focus areas include working with banking institutions on appropriate packages to support local businesses access to funding to be able to capture growth opportunities, supporting businesses with project management support, and business incubator programs to grow entrepreneurship with a focus on female businesses. We are extremely pleased to be here virtually to collaborate with the Greater Guyana Initiative to support sustained growth and competitiveness of Guyana's business sector. Thank you and remember to stay safe until we meet again in person. In the Council for Technical and Vocational Education and Training, has been working very closely with ExxonMobil Guyana for several years to identify training areas where development will make sure that the emerging oil and gas sectors is properly people and also to ensure the provision of sustainable skills development for our young people in other traditional and non-traditional areas as well. Some of the early collaborations included a baseline study by the Center of Business, Local Business Development to determine demand and supply gap analysis for tech box skills as well as competency deficiencies. A one week long program that included introduction of oil and gas and safety awareness training for administrators <coughs> of all local Tibet institutions by the Center. These early efforts and international work through the support of the Greater Guyana Initiative grew to include the following programs. A basic industrial safety program to promote a new workforce safety culture in response to the industrial sector's growth. During the last year, we have worked together and now have 14 safety champions in eight of our public institutions, trained representing nearly every Tibet facility. The identification and selection of craft skill areas of diverse vocational programs which will develop technical skills competencies in order to meet the growing sectoral demand opportunities. An initial <clears throat> GGI program comprised of electrical and welding disciplines which will result in the generation of an enhanced technical workforce. These two pilot programs involve 13 training instructors in these areas at New Amsterdam Technical Institute and the Linden Technical Institute. Significant efforts include the areas of curriculum reviews, facility upgrades, and support for instructor training. The obvious intention is to share learnings from these programs and replicate these training modules within other tech book institutions across the regions of Bayern in order to significantly boost the supply of tech box skills, hence ensuring employability and empowerment. These efforts would not only have not only progressed to this level without, would not have progressed, sorry, to this level without the support of the ministers, both past and present. Other council members, for whom special mention must be made, of Mr. Floyd Scott, the director of TVET, our team leader, and Mr. Patrick Chinadu. Deputy Chief Education Officer, Technical Ministry of Education. The Council for Tibet assigned an MOU with LearnCorp International, ExxonMobil's Guyana Implementing Partner. Together, we have all worked diligently to continue to progress these programs throughout the COVID-19 pandemic period through virtual learning and utilizing local businesses such as Cummins, electrical for the facilities upgrade and for the equipment and machinery installation. Finally, let me take this opportunity to reiterate that the vision of C-Tibet is a national Tibet system created to meet the changing demands of global competitiveness. And the mission 
is the provision of a Guyanese workforce with requisite knowledge, skills, and attitudes, contributing to increased productivity and economic development. Following from the above, we are indeed pleased that ExxonMobil and its co-venture partners, HESS and CINOC, have recognized the pace of growth and the broader sectors will be reliant on the readiness of the workforce and have partnered with Tibet to further develop the Guyanese top skills capacity, hence contributing towards the vision and mission of C-Tibet. Ladies and gentlemen, all of those watching online, all of you joining us everywhere in the world, it gives me the greatest pleasure on behalf of the University of Guyana to call this day hopeful, wonderful, beautiful, and beneficent. Why am I using these wonderful words? Because I believe that this event that is marking the culmination of a very, very long process is a beautiful one. It is the beginning of a wonderful set of events, of projects, of impactful activities that will change the lives of many of our students at the university and indeed change the face of the university for the better. The Greater Diana Initiative will impact not only the university and the students and staff of the university, but as you know, everything that we do at the university is focused on student, staff and citizen success. It's helping us to boost our innovations and bring the research that is being done by our campus to the market and to a wider space where it can be monetized or at least others can learn from it. And, and so there are many, many, many uh, of those, of course, always there are impacts and students will be involved, staff involved, communities involved. At this time, I'd like to take the opportunity of thanking the ExxonMobil team who have worked long and hard on this project. Kimberly Bresington, Deidre Mo, Susie Diabru, Matthew Scarf, Nick Yearwood, Karen Matusik, and of course, Rod Henson, and Alistair Routledge. I'd like to also thank the team from the University of Guyana, our legal people, our people who negotiated, our accountants, all those persons who worked. These kinds of projects take a lot of time and a lot of people, and so I'm not going to name them all, but I'd like to thank you, you know who you are. I'd like to also thank the other beneficiaries for stepping up and ensuring that this is a reality today, and the government and people of Guyana for ensuring that uh, they have accepted this as a good and beneficent gesture towards the greater and wonderful good of our people. Thank you very much. I wish to thank you all for joining us, whether it's from the comfort of your homes or your offices, as we launched the Greater Guyana Initiative, which is a 10-year, $20 billion pledge to work capacity development programs in Guyana. Mm -hmm.